I'm Aiman, and welcome to my vlog for Yale Bulldog Days 2022. Enjoy. Yale admin weekend and they're making us take COVID tests again. Compared to Harvard where Harvard was really just, you check a box and say, oh yeah, I don't have COVID. This is a, a lot more regulated. So something interesting about Yale that Harvard doesn't do is that they have signs talking, um, helping guide people, uh, mostly tourists, but also uh, um, admitted students who are visiting, um, and tell people where to go, where they can't go, tell people that they can't go into the residential colleges. Harvard doesn't have a lot of signs, I'm not gonna lie. So let's go in. And let's see what this is like. checked in. Um, I went to drop off my stuff at my host uh, house, I mean dorm, at Hopper College. Um, now I'm sitting in front of a tree because I want to get a feel for just the vibe at Yale. And I'm not gonna lie, Yale does feel like it has a better vibe for me.
and um, it's going to be interesting to meet and talk with people a lot there. They just they have too many events. They're all interesting and you can't go to all of them. I mean, you can, but you don't get to experience the full all of them. So, we just came out of the, uh, I guess you would call it the orientation for Bulldog Days, and it was amazing. They featured so many student performers, and I, it was crazy. Like, just, they had dance teams, they had, they had a rock cello band. <sighs> I'm actually tempted to go, go to Yale now. When I went to Harvard, I, I heard people say that Visitas was not as good as other college uh, visits programs. It would have been nice to see them celebrate students, undergraduates at Harvard, by showing performances, showing like showcasing everything that the students can do. And I'm scared that going to Harvard, I'll miss out on everything that Yale has to offer. So I'm traveling across the New Haven Green. I'm on my way to a lettuce seeding competition. It looks like no one's going to it though. Because it's at 10.15 and it's 10 right now. I'm the one who's walking across the green diagonally. Eating lettuce competition. Oh my god. No, I think he's not up to spectate. No, 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 Basically what this is, is the lettuce eating competition, one of the Yale Student Lettuce Club's many uh, undergraduate events. <laughs> uh, it determines, or it helps determine the, uh, the future president or head of lettuce. Uh, and if you're the fastest person to eat this, you have to plan it next year or find someone who's willing to do it in your stead. Uh, I'll, I'll get the details from you. If you're a brief rush, we'll work something out if you end up not coming here. Uh, <laughs> you have to come here then. <laughs> Um, what constitutes a finished head of lettuce? Okay, so if, if, we're, if we're kind of going by that you know it, if you see the policy, um, we'll sort of... Uh, <laughs> once someone, once someone uh, says they're done, everyone's going to stop. Everyone's going to stop. We're going to investigate. We're going to get a panel of judges to evaluate whether or not it feels that the lettuce has been completely eaten. Uh, and then uh, if it is not, we will keep going and you will be disqualified if you call it too early. So don't uh, don't jump, don't jump the gun. Uh, you can use your hands. You don't have to like, you can use your hands or mouth. Uh, <laughs> Uh, if you would like, you can use ranch, uh, but it's very important if you use ranch, we will write down your name if you win and call you a nice gentleman. <laughs>
Nice gentleman. Yes. Who's the, who's the panel of judges? Uh, like, how the homies. I right, but... <laughs> <laughs> Myself and whoever, uh, I don't know, the other board members, I think Carly's on board, Michael's on board, and Michael. I'm here. Jack is on honorary board because he told me to the lettuce up here. Yes, sir. Uh, so, as it stands right now, you can go ahead and unwrap your lettuce. Don't start eating it. Just get, get ready to go. Okay, if you have any obviously rotten lettuce, uh, you may remove it and set it to the side. Uh, that, being, uh, that being said, um, this room has to be absolutely spotless by the time I leave, or my head of college is going to be pissed at me. So please clean up after yourself when you're done. That's uh, wrong. Alright, I, I don't know. I'll Three, two, one, let us eat! <laughs> yes, my game! Good! <laughs> 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 If you feel like you're gonna puke, please stop. Please do not throw up. Hey, hey, hey! Pot! No Bulldog Days, day one. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I really like Yale's campus and I like the people there, but something about it makes me feel lonely. I feel inundated with this over sen overwhelming sense of I don't fit here. But you know, at Harvard, it's like, I feel like I fit there, but it feels kind of boring. I wonder if that makes me, I wonder if that says that I'm boring, but I want to have fun. I want to have a lively undergraduate career. And people always say that Yale is better for undergraduate. I don't really know right now, but we'll have to see. Tomorrow or the day after. All right, let's head into my dorm.
here. Uh, what the heck? Wow, this campus is super beautiful. Jeez. I remember being in the courtyard for a map house. That was so long ago. Kind of interesting. I was going to go to Harvard. 90 percent, nine percent Stanford, one percent Yale. The more I spend here, the more that percent rises. I think Harvard is forty percent right now. Stanford is ten percent, and Yale is fifty percent. And who knows? Maybe Stanford will increase as time goes on, but. I wonder what will happen. You want to appear in the video? Yo, Aaron, say something. Uh, uh, Yale, yeah. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Harvard, who cares? <laughs> Even like uh, Yale's, Yale's bookstore looks. I, I, Harvard, Harvard, I think. Like Harvard has the nice like stairs and like the balcony above. Um, it has like a nice open, open view. But Yale has the content. You can see all the stuff like pretty clearly. What? They got they got Legos at Yale. They got they got manga at Yale. They got Magnetiles Builder at Yale. What? They don't have this at Harvard. That's crazy. Ooh, they got the Yale ties. <laughs> oh, a bow tie here costs fifty-five dollars. Oh my god. <sighs> okay, okay. The, the tie, the neck ties have to be cheaper though, right? Oh my god. Oh my god. What? 
What? What? What? Why? Amazing school. Good architecture. Mm -hmm. Tell us more about it. Uh, I, I don't know. It's good food too. Uh huh. Good people. Uh huh. Where are we going? To the Benneke Rare Book Library. Wait, are you excited to see anything there? Maybe. I'm excited to start a fire. <laughs> <laughs> For legal reasons, that's a joke, guys. For legal reasons. Stealing <laughs> shot? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is what I've been waiting for. This place. So, I lost my key card, and I tree traced my steps back to the library where I lost it. The um, the memorial library, starting with memorial, and the security guards found it, and they were so nice helping me get it back. Um, they, I asked, "Hey, did I lose? Did anyone lose a uh, car here?" And I saw it on the desk, and they were like, "Yeah, yeah, is this yours?" And and they were so nice about it. <laughs> They're so cool. All right, so I'm going to um, a Questbridge dinner. Um, let's see what that's like. <laughs> I'm not really sure what to expect here. Room 208. Um, but usually you don't get reimbursed for travel. That's kind of what like the refund tries to cover. Stage. We're on the left side today. Yay! <laughs> <Woo>. <laughs> Stella's here too! Let's go, Tashi! just came from the uh, at home at Yale um, theater and oh my god that was crazy that, that was so cool I feel like with every second I'm closer to choosing um, Yale um, it's really crazy how nice everything is oh my god <laughs> push it so that there's as minimal page hanging over as possible. Yep, and then push down and push. Uh, That's so satisfying. And then one more side. Yeah. Thank you. You are a very good mentor. I love teaching. <laughs> Great. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Have a great night. You too. Sorry, sorry. Stay safe. Stay safe. Cinnamon foot binding. Wow. Watch out. Whoop. Wow, that's crazy. Guys, what? 16 pages, because 16 is divisible by 2. It's binary. Alright, guys, so that's the end of Bulldog Days, day 2. 
and so far Yale's been pretty amazing, I'm not gonna lie. Might have to choose it over Harvard. And I was talking to a lot of people and I'm getting a better sense of where I wanna go. There's a lot, I've met a few people who also got accepted to Harvard and they're really pushing me towards it. They're giving me new angles on it that I'd never thought about before. And I'm chuffed. I'm chuffed to make this decision. I'm chuffed to visit. And I'm really excited about the people I met. What's this? I gotta say, guys, um. Tap water here at Yale. It's amaze balls. It's uh, might even be better than um, Bloom Spring. I'm not gonna lie. So, I gotta drink a lot of water for a supper. I couldn't be drinking better water. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. So I just came from a Ramunajan lecture. Ramanujan. Ramanujan. I came from a lecture about Ramanujan, um, a master class. It was honestly like astonishing. Um, the professor spoke with such clarity and integrated the presentation really well. He talked about how Yale, when it teaches, it, it placed the emphasis on teaching, whereas other top universities like Harvard and MIT don't do the same. Um, and so that's why he stuck out at Yale, even though one time he taught a summer class in Harvard. So I like I like hearing his input. What's up? You wanna you wanna appear in my vlog? Yeah. Um, Say something about uh, uh, Yo. Uh, Bula Bula. Um, thank you, Patricia Way. Shout out <laughs> number one. What are you excited about at Yale? Oh shit. Uh, the dining hall food again. Cause that like okay, Saybrook, number one, top tier, S tier, number one. Silman, cute. Oh, there's a photo being taken. <laughs> oh. I was I was doing Iman's vlog. Uh, oh, ER and M. Best mm -hmm. major, number one. Mm -hmm. Tell us why Yale is better than Harvard. Harvard's ugly. Ah, uh, nice. Uh, nice. Uh, oh, also, they rejected me. So. Oh. They wait listening to me. They wait listening. Uh, Alright, so I'm walking to a very, very familiar place far, far away from Bulldog Days. And if you're from Yale and you recognize this place, place your bets right now as to where I'm going. Because I'm about to show you something pretty awesome. So if you don't know, the Peabody is my place of employment, 
I used to work here in person as a museum apprentice. And now I work online as a museum interpreter. And so this place is very nostalgic to me. I've come here every Tuesday back uh, when I was in 9th and 10th grade. And it was a wonderful experience. And I hope that when the museum reopens, I can continue working out here again. good things just come to an end and so I'm gonna hand in my ID card pick up my stuff from my dorm and then bombs away brown oh this is Yale hey guys it's me again uh, I just finished editing the Bulldog Days video. <laughs> it's uh, 3 a.m. 3 in the morning right now. Um, so I just wanted to say thanks for watching. Uh, I really had a lot of fun at Bulldog Days. And they did a really great job. Um, so shout outs to all the people who helped organize and run Bulldog Days and made sure it was the event that it was this year. Um, it was a really hard choice to choose between Yale and Harvard um, and Stanford. But... As I said, um, I will be doing a video on why I chose Harvard, uh, so go check that out. And also check out my video on um, Harvard Visitas and Stanford Advent Weekend. Um, the one on Visitas is already out by this time, but I'm still working on the uh, uh, the Stanford one, which is like 200 more clips, so I'm going to have to look forward to that. But again, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.